The Keens XC Plus is a luxury comfort four-seater wagon. It features two removable bench seats and it has dual leather handlebars as well as all-terrain tires and comes with a snack tray. Starting our review from the push bar, you can see it here. It's adjustable, so it can go from a much shorter height to much taller. It is zippable, so you can exchange it out if it gets damaged. You can see it has kind of a normal amount of give that this style of handlebar has that kind of pivots on a joint. However, honestly, of all of the four seaters that we've had, this has the worst adjusting buttons. Like they get stuck and you can only do one level at a time sometimes. It's honestly so frustrating. <laughs> so not very high marks for that part. However, um, you can also see here that the covering isn't exactly like fitted. It's a little bit loose. It's looser than other four seaters that we've had. So just something that might bother some people. Not a big deal for most, I'm sure. Moving on to the brake now, you can see it is very flip-flop friendly. You don't have to get your foot underneath and dig it into any plastic. You can use it all from the top. Um, and you can also see back here the tires and how they are removed. This is a button that you push in to remove the big bag tires. Very, very easy to do, which really helps given how big this wagon is to help it fit into different trunks when you have to fold it or transport it. Also, you can see here on the back how easy it is to take off the rear axle, which also really helps because that's the way it fits in our car um, more easily is to take off the back axle. It's so easy to take off and to pop back on. The tires feature more of a rubberized coating on the outside than this average stroller wagon, which I really appreciate. And the tires are truly massive. You can see here, I'll show you, they are about, at least the back tires are about 14 inches across. That is crazy. Consequentially though, this wagon is actually super duper tall as well. So if you're on the shorter side, just be aware, it's gonna feel huge to you. Honestly though, I'm not even short and it feels huge to me. The front tires are nine and a half inches across and they have high quality materials used on these tires. There's metal plates involved and the rubber treading like I had mentioned. They also put in a front locking tire feature on these front tires, which is not used enough in the stroller wagon world. So I appreciate that it was here on the Kings XC Plus. Now we haven't taken this wagon anywhere crazy, but we have noticed some chipping on these metal plates where the paint and potentially some of the metal has chipped off. Something to note, maybe be careful when you're loading and unloading. I don't know if that's when it's happening. Uh, something else that we have noticed off and on is that the buttons to release the front tires, sometimes when you compress them, they don't uncompress themselves until the tire is removed. So if you accidentally push that button loading or unloading, your tire may just fall off and you may not notice it. So just be aware of that. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time, trust me. I tested it over and over again. It only happens sometimes. Hopefully it's just our wagon. These cutouts look like they're meant so that you can remove the bench harnesses and install them on the fabric of the wagon. However, the cutouts on the floor are not cut all the way through. It just kind of looks like some weird teen's mystery. I don't know. Here you can see the canopy. Now the fabric on this makes the poles kind of bow inward. It might be hard to see, but it's probably standard, it just kind of annoys me. However, the pole system for these canopies is actually fantastic. And you can see here, I'm gonna show you, this canopy has a bunch of bells and whistles that are built right in, emphasis on the luxury comfort part of this stroller wagon. So you can roll this back to create like a sunroof for your kids if you don't need so much sun coverage. Um, you know, you can get some good ventilation in through this top thing and you have a toggle here to wrap up this extra fabric. It also is secured on each side with a magnet, which is great if you're in kind of more windy conditions. While I don't think this is necessarily a must have feature on a canopy, I think it's really nice that they try to design something that would work across different climates and for different families. Here you can see that magnet I was talking about. There is one built into each short side of that piece of fabric there, just helps to hold it down. Another really great built-in feature of the XC Plus are these built-in drop-down panels. They are customizable, as in you can put them as a full blackout, as you can see here, and they're very easy to install. And if you would prefer less coverage, you can pull up this extra panel, and then you have simply kind of windows with mesh, so you get extra ventilation, but kids can still see out of the sides and have great visibility. If the rolled up toggle system is not for you, then the XC Plus might bother you because they use that across a lot of features on the wagon. The wagon is very tall with the canopy on. There's just no two ways around that. However, the pole system for this style of canopy is the best version we've seen 
of a wagon using this type of canopy. The, the poles are very easy to use and they are very sturdy once they are locked in place. You will have to store that canopy top somewhere and it does eat up pretty much the entire basket. So that's something to keep in mind if you have a lot of storage needs. On to the included snack tray. Yes, it is included, that is great. This cup holder design is kind of weird to me and not my favorite. However, you can see this is an incredibly strong snack tray. These clips are very, very sturdy. You can see here, it takes me two hands to even get this one off. The first one I think is the hardest, but between how strong the clips are and the design of the snack tray, my middle child has sat on this snack tray and it hasn't budged and it hasn't warped or anything like that. It is a very sturdy snack tray. And to give you a little peek on the inside here, you can see why this is so strong. It has a little bit of padding on the top, but on the bottom, there are two metal poles that run along the length of this entire snack tray. So as far as the quality goes on this one, really, really good. On to the harness. Now this is a three or five point optional harness. And I do like that it's not magnetic because magnetic buckles can be hard to use or they just fall apart. They're very easy to wiggle out of, especially when you're trying to put a wiggly baby into them. So I love that this is this kind of optional three and five point. You can do just the waist as you can see here, or you can attach the shoulder straps to make it that full five point harness. And babies are not getting out of this one. They cannot undo the five point. So I really like that. Um, the, the crotch cover thing there for the strap tends to get in the way a lot for us so we just take it off on the seats that we use the most often it is a very customizable for height seat as you can see there there are three levels and you can make it one seat in the center if you'd rather not have two full harnesses however something to note you can see here the seat is actually pretty shallow especially to where the crotch clip goes if you have a child with a plumpy butt it's going to feel kind of small it does have two pockets on each bench seat, one on each side, whereas the Wonderfold only has one on each bench seat. The XC Plus attaches a little differently than the Wonderfold seats. It has these clips that you're used to with the Wonderfold. However, it also has um, an attachment in the center that threads through the pocket right there, as you can see on the front of the wagon. So that's a little bit different. The buckles are much more accessible on the back of this seat than they are on the Wonderfold, which is nice, but it also gives it a little bit of a straight jackety look. So just depends on what you wanna prioritize, ease of use or for the aesthetic. And it has this great pocket on the back of each of the bench seats as well. It also features an adjustable handlebar, just like on the back side on the front for pulling. Now the wagon comes standard with this kind of envelope pouch on the front, but you can remove it and add a second basket if you purchase separately. It's kind of just this big, open sack but you can divide it with this little velcro in the center this is not my favorite design i think it looks a little strange but also it's secured only by this zipper on the top so if you put a lot of weight into this it's going to be held up only by this zipper which i think is kind of a design flaw doesn't give, really give me confidence it's going to hold a ton so maybe not for grocery shopping or heavy items on each side of the wagon, there is this pocket on the side and it has two compartments, one of them larger, which is where we put our extra pads from the harness. And two, you have a smaller one there on the front. So really great built-in storage option there. You also get the large storage basket that is included. And you can see there, it has a really good size pocket that is for the main opening. And there is on the inside, another pocket that's built in just for smaller storage in case you wanna put your wallet or something kind of tucked out of the way. Um, so you can see right there with the elastic on the top to keep things secure. And on the front of the basket, you have two more pockets, one kind of visible and one less visible. And on the very bottom, this is kind of a traditional Keens thing where you have this mesh pocket and you can put shoes or maybe if you go to the beach, sandy items, something like that, that this uh, mesh on the bottom is really a great feature for. And then they have here this strap that kind of keeps it tucked away and in place. These pockets are held down by two things. The first is this magnet here that holds onto the metal of the frame. And then there are these two Velcro patches that also hold on to the frame here. But we've had these rip off several times. They rip off and then they reposition themselves. The stickiness just doesn't stay in place. But I've also noticed that these little patches are very like hairy, like it's tearing them apart already. And we haven't had it that long and we haven't used it that intensely. So. This Velcro is not a high quality, I wouldn't say. we've. This is the biggest issue that we've had with something coming off of the wagon entirely has been these Velcro straps, or patches rather. Now magnets are also utilized here on these corners to hold down this flap if you want kind of more of a privacy or to hold the wind out of the carriage itself. This design is a little bit wonky because that pole in the middle makes it a little hard to roll this up, but it comes up to the top here and then you close it with a toggle. 
Wonderfold has a similar kind of privacy panel that rolls down, however it's located on the inside of the carriage and it zips tucked away into a little pocket. I think it looks a lot nicer. Having it on the outside like this shows a lot of wrinkles on the fabric and it just doesn't look as nice in my opinion. Just to provide a better visual on what we're talking about about these velcro straps, you can see here the left one is really really torn up already and these velcro they just replace themselves they put themselves wherever they want to go once you lift it up and put it back down and that just happens over the normal course of use when you have this wagon at least in our experience so you can see how they there is a guide there of raised plastic edges and that's where they are supposed to be and they're supposed to stay we also got the stroller type of canopies that they sell separate as an additional purchase so we could show them to you in this review so you can see here that they attach on this other part completely separate from the original canopy style and you slide them on there are also a few velcro patches that need to be secured but they click right here into place and you can see when they are secure and i'm going to go ahead and show you all the features of these as well so you can see how they work now they do have um, kind of a pull down here you can open up on the sides to allow ventilation and more light in or you can close it off for privacy or more darkness if that's what you prefer these can be closed with velcro or they can be rolled up and left open um, with this little toggle system that Keen seems to enjoy i don't think that these really hold on very well the velcro isn't that secure and it doesn't exactly stay flush but it'll get the job done if you need a little bit more darkness there inside the canopy here you'll see as we roll it up um, how they look when it is left open see aesthetically how you feel about that for some people i know it'll be annoying and some people it seems pretty standard across some strollers and wagons now this apparent opening here on the back holds itself down with a magnet it does not secure on the top with a magnet however like the wonderful version does so on this one you're also going to need to roll this up and use a toggle to secure it in place Now we'll show you how to secure on the bottom um, the Velcro strips to keep this back panel in place. Now these Velcro strips are already existing on the wagon itself, so it's not something that you have to add on after you buy this canopy. So you're gonna, it's, it's a little bit of a stretch. The first one goes on just fine, but you have to pull a little bit taut to get the other one in place and to get the Velcro to stay on the other strip that's already on the wagon. But once you've done that, that's it. Then you're done. On the plus side, these little flaps look like cute, like Dumbo ears or something, which I think was kind of adorable. On the sides, there's some pretty decent visibility, even for shorter kids, which I think is great for younger kids that you're going to have strapped in to this wagon as well. I'm going to show you here. My son is seven. He's on the taller side. And these, with the wagon being so tall, this is a very tall canopy. Like, it really gives a lot of height. So if you have a kid that's on the taller side, this will work for them. It does have that weird visibility in the front though, where they're just kind of facing a canopy and they don't, they can only see out of the sides. So just be aware of that. With how tall this wagon is, we noticed it right away in the push. The maneuverability just felt kind of unsteady, going around turns, especially when you have actual weight in the wagon, didn't feel very good. And obviously it's kind of tippy. It's just tippier than it normally would be with a wagon that's lower to the ground. So. I'm not really a huge fan, unfortunately, of that, and that affects how I feel about the wagon overall. We're going to be selling this one. We're not keeping it, unfortunately, but I know a lot of families love it, so if you are on the taller side, it could be perfect for you. That being said, I hope this review was helpful. We're going to be doing a comparison as well with the Family Easy and the Wonderfold, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you for all your support. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll do our best to get back to you. I hope you'll subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye!